Serious, what's something someone told you when you were suicidal that actually helped a bit? When I was deep in my depression, my family and I went to visit my grandma and some other realtives in Florida over I winter break, I was in high school, and I don't remember the circumstances but my grandma and I were alone and she told me she could tell I was depressed. Just her simply acknowledging my depression really helped a lot. She told me about how there was a time when she was depressed as a young woman too and that it wasn't unusual and that I wasn't alone in it. She was the first person to even initiate a conversation with me regarding my depression. Then a few weeks after we returned home I received a letter from her giving me words of encouragement. That letter probably saved my life and I still have it. I hope this doesn't get buried but a random drunk dude saved my life one night by saying. Stick around to piss off the assholes who want you gone. Thanks random drunk dude I have a good life now that I stuck around, and I totally pissed off some assholes. Obligatory edit. Thanks for all the upvotes and awards. Please don't spend money on awards for me instead donate to suicide prevention or mental health advocacy groups. P.S. Keep pissing off assholes. I was studying for med school at the time and really badly failed one of the mock exams. I spiraled out into severe depression cuz I felt like I had failed everyone including myself and that I will never be good enough. This came after a massive career change from engineering to medicine so I already had residual feelings of inadequacy since, I couldn't make it as an engineer. My mom simply refused to leave my side and took me away from it all and took a bit of time off work and spent three days just making my favorite foods and reminding me of how much everyone loved me and how much progress I had made in the past few years. If you look for the light, you will often find it. If you look for the darkness, that's all you'll ever see. It's a quote from a cartoon, which may not be exactly what you're looking for. But it helps me every time my mind gets away from me. Instead of looking inward look outward. My mom said, let me help you, you don't have to do anything and I'll take care of everything, she was talking about making doctor's appointments and getting therapy and stuff. I'm really glad I let her help me. Your son needs you. To be honest I didn't believe anything anyone said. Probably the best thing though was hearing that my pain would be given to my children. When you are that deep in it you truly believe everyone will be better off without you. If you or someone have made plans to take yours, their life I would highly suggest the suicide hotline. You are worth it. If something ever happened to you where I'd never be able to talk to you again I'd be deeply destroyed. Nothing anyone ever said to me made me want to keep living as much as this did. It made me realize that there was someone who cared about me. Whenever I think about ending it all I think back to this statement. The fact I had a 13% chance of surviving my attempt. They broke down the math of all the harm it would do to the people around me and how much more of a burden I would be if I died than if I kept living. It was dark but I was also touched they mathed out the cost of my death. My crush, now boyfriend, wrote me a whole paragraph about how important I am to him. It was painful when he didn't feel the same about me. And in that moment he still probably didn't feel the same, but that didn't even matter to me. I can't describe how loved I felt. My CBT helped me. But as for regular people, nobody ever said anything that helped. But what they did do that helped was be there, because it's difficult to hang around depressed people. Their exact words. Meow. Purr. It actually really helps. I read a post somewhere that said it was okay to stay alive for the little things if that's all you have right now. Staying alive to feed your cat, or to see that movie that comes out next month, or to eat that seasonal food you like, or to finish that super long video game, or to help a friend move, or to give someone else advice, or because you're curious about what will be on Reddit tomorrow. That's all valid. You don't have to find relief or make progress on some big existential problem. Being alive is a good enough effort for now. Regarding family issues and a lot of pent-up anger my therapist told me, you can't keep feeding yourself poison expecting the other person to die, and that hit. Fuck you, get your shit together. Don't run away from your problems, face them you asshole, NGL, it was nice to get scolded instead of being consoled. It made me feel like people are not faking it but they do care very genuinely. This. What I'm about to say sounds intense, but it really helped me. Things don't always get better, but you will always get stronger. I used to hate it when people would say, trust me, things get better. Because you never know, they might not. They might even get worse. But that quote, advice made me realize it's not up to my situation and events, it's up to my perspective on them. 
No matter what, you'll always get stronger from each experience, and that will help you grow. Hopefully this isn't too off topic. I wasn't suicidal, but the day I got diagnosed with cancer and fell into pretty rough depression, my dad told me something that I never understood why, but it helped me in a really big way. You could die tomorrow from something way more instant. People without cancer die all the time. People with cancer survive all the time. This isn't anything special. You'll get through this, or you'll die. No sense trying to control it. Everyone I ever tell this to gets really mad, but my dad and my brain seem to work the same way, it was comforting. No one else could provide me any kind of comfort through it. How would your parents would react made me think twice before doing anything. I can't go on, I go on. Samuel Beckett. I had someone stay up with me for 15 hours on a Discord call. He told me to do the next right thing. Take life minute by minute. It helps keep me from catastrophizing. If suicide is an option that you are considering, you should consider all other possible options, too. I mean, why not try that foolish dream thing that you haven't been allowed to take seriously? Why not cut all ties and move to Des Moines? Why is taking chances on living more frightening than killing yourself? That's what worked for me, some 25 years ago. I have never had many serious suicidal thoughts, but if you have no family or close friends, I assume you are self-sufficient and live alone. Get a dog. I have no clue if this is a cliche but I hear so many stories of pets providing a new type of outlook on life and your worth. Having a little ball of love I am sure could really help. Regardless if you listen or not, don't give up. I don't know you, but I will be thinking of you, and I will be with you all the way in spirit. I wish you all the best for the rest of your long life my friend. May many blessings be upon your harvest. My friend said, the next time you feel like that ring me and I will come down and kill you instead, another one, sure can always just leave it until tomorrow. There's a line from waiting for Godot. I think about it a lot. I have no idea why it helps, but it does. Estragon, I can't go on like this. Vladimir, that's what you think. My friend told me he had contacted my mom. I went from suicidal to incredibly angry. Why would I kill myself over something as stupid as a chemical imbalance in my brain? This is what helped me get through some tough times. Mom would be sad. Are you okay op? What if you change your mind tomorrow? Somehow something clicked. School is temporary and their opinions don't matter. Be yourself. The only time a after school special did good. I love you. Whether parent, friend, spouse, or even a pet, there is always someone out there who loves you, no matter what your demons want to say. Even if they don't express it in those exact words, actions and other ways still express love for you. Someone always cares. You have to promise me you won't hurt yourself. It was hella cliche looking back on it, but my high school counselor was one of the very few people whose advice and input I trusted and respected. Knowing I'd be letting him down if I did attempt or self-harm stuck with me for years. I made a promise, I had to keep it. He got me through some really rough patches. I think I owe my life to him. I am here. I hear you. I love you. I need your help. Serious answer. You should watch an anime. Serious reply. I ain't suicidal, so I tried to talk with someone who was suicidal, I didn't think I was really helping the situation. So he said bye after two days, which I assumed he was going to himself. Luckily he posted a vid like four days later saying I'm still here and he couldn't bring himself to kill himself. I was happy. I told me this. You'll probably fuck up the suicide and end up in more pain and incapable of finishing the job. And then I realized there was worse kinds of pain and that I wasn't in enough pain to risk living through an attempt. This would be a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Also, I don't know what I would do without you, said by my friend who I visited after his saw. Honesty, it's proving motherfuckers I hate wrong. I think the phrase was, don't give up, you still got a bunch of motherfuckers to prove wrong. It lets my hate drive me and that tank stays on full. It helps me get motivated to go in the right direction that ends up helping my depression. One day I told myself, shit, okay, I am gonna go make a cheesecake. And that somehow distracted me for long enough. This may not work for everyone but the way I see it is, even if I'm an absolute garbage person who deserves nothing, I can give love and caring to other people and that keeps me going. Even if I can't help myself, I can help someone else and that's as good a reason as any to be alive. 
What gets me through is knowing I can always do it tomorrow. It's morbid but evidently, I keep on trucking. Sending you calm vibes dude love you gesture. My brother had apparently overheard me having a conversation with one of my friends about depression, harming myself etc. When I got home and went to my room there was a note shoved underneath my door. In this note he wrote about how he used to have suicidal thoughts himself, suffer with depression. He also wrote a lot of supportive stuff and tips and in case if I was comfortable enough and needed to talk about my feelings, his door was always open. I never openly spoke to him about any of it but just the note was and still is so precious to me. This happened about five years ago and I still read it from time to time. Sometimes there's comfort in knowing that strangers love you enough to keep you alive. When I was feeling suicidal my sister came to me and said she didn't want to lose me like she lost my cousin who passed away not too long ago and that stopped me. A dear friend of mine told me that the steps I need to take don't need to be big, they just need to lead in the right direction. I ended up taking that to heart and looking back, that really helped jumpstart a healthy train of thoughts which was a really refreshing change of scenery compared to the dark spiral that I constantly had found myself in. You don't want no hoes at your funeral fake crying, so don't die. Really lifted my moods.